Hey everyone, thank you for checking out this video. I just want to say a couple of things before it begins. Firstly, thank you to Tesco for their response in this matter, I guess. Um, you will see some tweets on them later on, but I will not be returning the spider. As you can tell by looking around the background, I like spiders, and so me getting one is not a problem. Um, I didn't go to the papers because I'm not a fucking idiot. And also, um, yeah. The other thing I want to kind of mention is a thank you to Petco from the Dark Den. Um, he did a video which I will link in the description to this video. And once you've checked that out, make sure you subscribe to him because he makes some really good videos. Um, but what I really missed out in talking about like doing this video, I forgot to mention the fact that my grapeter came into contact with the children. When you need a dramatic story, always remember to mention the children. That's the golden rule. Because mentioning children in a spider story makes it so much uh, more dramatic so i borrowed some clips from the dark dens um video um so thank you to him for letting me do that and yeah i hope you enjoyed Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Uh, Trancher down here, and I'm going to be doing a really awesome video. I'm really happy that this is kind of happened to me, I guess. So um, yeah, usually in the British media, please excuse the crickets. Usually in the British media, you get some idiotic couple, uneducated and ignorant, uh, buy some fruit from the pet shop. Uh, fruit from the pet shop. Fruit from the uh, supermarket, and they have spiders in you know the bananas or the grapes or whatever and these spiders are killer widows and all that kind of stuff uh the daily uh, the daily star are terrible for it like they just uh, hear of these stories and just post them without any research which is really annoying and retarded um but yeah uh what is really really good um is i have been lucky enough to have some grapes with a spider in it. Um, the interesting thing is I bought these grapes. These are strawberry grapes. Uh, so basically they are grapes and they taste just like strawberries. Um, I told the people at work this and they didn't believe me. And then um, they tried them and sure enough they taste like strawberry grapes. And I showed them to my nan and my nan tried them and pass these grapes around and we've eaten them, it's all wonderful. Um, I was coming back from work that day and Kim, my partner, was next to me and she was eating them and she wasn't that keen, to be fair, and they'd been back in the fridge for a week and my nan was picking at them and said I don't want any of these so I actually got the whole bunch and put them in uh, the uh, enclosure with Ramsey, my bearded dragon, because she loves grapes and when I put it down, I because before it was tips upside, upside down, I put it this way, and I was like, oh shit, there's a web. So obviously I get it out really quickly before she eats them, and I'm kind of inspecting the web. I'm going to try and zoom in as close as I can. I'm using my, um, my macro lens, so whether it will be good enough, I don't know. But yeah, so there is a web here. It's completely visible. What's even better is there was a spider inside said web. That's awesome. Um, what's even better is that the spider has an egg sac. So um, I'm gonna. I I don't know whether we still have the uh, the box of these. And I bought these grapes from Tesco on Starbridge Ring Road. So um, I will let them know that I have this and to maybe just go and check, you know, their their fruit. But yeah, so. I bought these grapes from Tesco, um, and I have a spider with an egg sac, which, as you can imagine, and you can probably tell by my voice, is really, really exciting. A little bit wink I was offering these grapes round to people. Um, but yeah, uh, this is kind of kind of exciting, really, because it's kind of like, you know, when, you have, when you're a child and you have like a box of cereal and you get the toy? Well, I never got the toy you know so this is like the equivalent for me and it's funny because if this had been any other person in like the uk pretty much like i said you always get like 
It's always the village idiot that gets the spider. But think about the children. The children. And they contact the newspapers and the, and they're saying, oh, kill a spider, black widow, giant trapdoor of death, Brazilian wandering spider, this 12 foot wide. Um, and he's poisonous. They always label it poisonous, which always pisses me off. Um, yeah, it's always them that get it. So today is a change. And... I got I got the grapes, I got the spider, I got the exact. So yeah, I'm gonna basically I don't actually I mean, I don't actually know where my tweezers are. I know I only used them the other day. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to get upstairs because I remember I was using these tweezers when I was doing the T Celadonia malt. Um I had to get the malt out with these. So I'm going to very carefully try and I have a tub here kind of ready um, I'm gonna very carefully try and remove the grapes around it well I don't know why we even uses these at the moment let me just readjust myself I will try and move the grapes Be really careful because obviously I don't actually know what this spider is of course so that's what's kind of causing me a little bit of concern I don't want this spider to escape and it is something genuinely dangerous but hey ho right if I open the egg sac sorry the sack okay then so as you can see those eggs in there they're the little yellow speck um there aren't that many of them, maybe 10 to 15 eggs, I would say. So uh, that's good that I've got them out. Um, and I'm going to put this lid on that. The tissue paper is slightly moist, not damp, because I don't want to damage the eggs, but just like literally like about three drops of water in that tissue, so it should be okay. I'm going to put that by Ramsey's tank. It should be nice and warm but not in direct sunlight okay then and this is the spider uh, it is alive but I think I may have slightly uh, got one of the legs and obviously it was in the fridge so it's quite cool but it is moving slightly so I'm going to um, give it some water and drop of food as well I feel like a little cricket or something and see whether she will take it down. Obviously I know it is a female because males don't lay egg sacs. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, now I don't know what will happen with these. Of course I will try and you know, I'll try and get a, you know, a definite idea on what this is and we'll also uh, give you guys an update on how I'm keeping it. But in the meantime I guess thankfully this spider got into my hands and not the hands of the normal idiots that find these like I said I mean I'm not scared I'm not freaking out but, you know I'm not gonna sue Tesco or anything I will tag them in a tweet on uh, Facebook and say oh yeah I found a uh, spider in your grapes um, I don't know maybe they'll send me some more grapes and I'll get another egg sack and another spider <laughs> so uh, yeah this is pretty cool, uh, not a video that I plan on doing. I'll probably edit this tonight and have this up uh, maybe as a joint video on Saturday, maybe. Because uh, I want to kind of get this video out there on a day for scheduling. So so long as there was at least one video being, um, being published on Tuesdays and Saturdays, it's fine if I do a double upload every now and again. I can't see that being a problem. So yeah, that is a look at this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I've very much enjoyed uh, filming it and having a lot of enjoyment out of this. I say it's like having a toy in your cereal when you're a child, you know. And I will do my best to take care of it, whatever it is. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching everyone. Take care. And don't forget to check out my other videos. All information will be in the description of this video if you'd like to check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you soon in the next video.